Good afternoon everyone, my name is Jack and I'm at Northwest Bus Sales. Today I'm going to be showing you a 2019 Ford StarCraft All-Star. Now this is, uh, this is our 12 and 2, very popular bus. This is actually one of our uh, state spec buses. So uh, it does uh, uh, have all the Washington State specifications and we'll uh, show you that in a little bit. Uh, but yeah, let's come check this out. So uh, this is on the Ford E350 chassis. Uh, this is powered by the Ford Triton. 6.8 liter v10 gasoline engine and uh, of course a company with a uh, torque shift six speed automatic transmission all right so uh we're gonna go inside the bus here first uh first thing we do have a uh, electrically operated bifold passenger entry door this is about 36 inches wide uh, as you'll see as we come on inside we do have a uh, a gray dur floor which is a little bit of an upgrade from your standard black just doesn't show dirt as much and uh, we do have some white step nosing coming on inside and uh, some uh, grab rails coming on in uh, the left one is standard but uh, these ones uh, are an option here on the, on the state contract so we do have one on the right and the left help your passengers get in all right all right, so uh, taking a seat in the cockpit area here, uh, a few of the upgrades we have, we do have uh, Roscoe powered mirrors. Um, they are also heated here as well. Uh, both mirrors, the uh, top and the convex are powered and you, uh, the, you have them on both sides. And this is your heater button here, so it's, uh, it's also heated. Uh, over here to our right, we have our just standard climate controls. This is for the driver, these three right here. Uh, that's for the rear like that that's your uh, rear heat which is uh tied into the oem uh switch up here uh right here we do have your uh jensen aftermarket am fm cd stereo and it does have an aux input if you want to plug in a you know a phone or something like that uh up top here this is your inner mode of interlock and this has to do with the wheelchair lift and uh basically we'll go over that in a little bit but it has a little bit of a fast idle when you're using the lift and just make sure you have the parking brake set and uh, everything like that. It's just a safety feature. So, uh, up top here, we have your uh, door control, open and close, uh, turn on the lights, and then there is flashing lights up top that you'll see. There's uh, these big uh, uh, amber LEDs up there, and so that's what those are too. And then here is your uh, rear AC controls. All right, uh, up top here, we do have a uh, driver storage area with a keyed lock. Uh, so they can put their purse or you know their personal belongings, whatever they need there. So you can keep your stuff safe. And uh, over here above the driver is your uh, intermotive uh, electrical system with fuses, relays, troubleshooting. There's actually a lot of cool things you can do with that intermotive system, but um, you can call us for more details on that. All right, so uh, in the back here, uh, as far as the seats go, these are equipped with uh, Friedman Featherweight mid-back seats. Uh, again, this is the uh, Washington State specification, uh, is what this uh, bus has been outfitted with. So a few uh, different features from our standard stock units. Uh, these do have uh, grab handles in all the seats. And this is just to prevent uh, kind of wear and tear on the top. You know, when people are getting up, they tend to pull back on this, which isn't good for the seat. This makes them grab the, uh, the grab handle there. Uh, we do have retractable seat belts, and these are under seat retractables, so you don't have the uh, the seat belts kind of laying in the aisleway. This looks a lot better. It's a lot sleeker and a lot more convenient. Uh, one thing that is not on the state specification, but we do anyways, is uh, gray padded vinyl here, so uh, which is standard in the driver area, but this is on the ceiling, the uh, sidewall, and the rear wall. Uh, it's just basically kind of like an insulation. And so uh, it is padded, just kind of keeps road noise down. You can actually, you know, doesn't, not as much resonation in the bus and you can, you know, actually have a conversation with the person you're sitting next to. Um, coming all the way back here. So this is a uh, 12 passenger plus two wheelchairs, which means that it is non-CDL in uh, every state except for the state of California. Uh, so this is a 14 passenger plus a driver, maximum you can get before you need a CDL. Um, what's cool about this is we have 12 ambulatory seats that are just stationary and then we have two single flip seats. So basically if you don't have any wheelchair passengers, 
you just keep these down and you get the full 14. Makes it real easy. If you do have wheelchair passengers, then these uh, Friedman fl flips here will actually flip up like so. I can find the handle here. There it is. And then you can have uh, two wheelchairs. So still it's always 14 or, you know, 12 plus two wheelchairs. You're never going over the CDL limit. So it just kind of maximizes the capacity in the vehicle. Uh, up top here, Trans Air. This is your uh, air conditioning evaporator. This is a uh, 68,000 BTUs, which is uh, pretty pretty fine for any uh, for a smaller bus like this. Um, and then uh, we do have a 65k heater, which is underneath the seat, right uh, right next to Michael there, uh, right underneath that seat. And uh, a couple more things to point out. Uh, State Spec does call for a, it does have a better floor. This is a 5 8 inch uh, marine grade plywood underneath this floor. And it also does have a cove flooring going up. So uh, just kind of makes it that much better. And then uh, to your left here, you got your uh, Q-strain straps, your L-track on the front there where the, where the straps will plug into. And, and last but not least, uh, to make it ADA compliant, there is a, a ceiling grab bar up here, which is just just required if you uh, if you have a lift. So, yeah. Now we'll come check out the outside. So uh, on the outside here, we do have a, uh, a battery box and tray there that'll come out. Um, that is also uh, not a standard option, so that is a little bit of an upgrade there. Uh, coming here to our uh, to the back of the bus here, this is a uh, Bronze Century Series lift. So this is what we put in most all of our buses made in the U.S. of A. And uh, very easy to use. Pretty hard to get confused with this. Um, there is only four buttons. There's an up, a down, a fold, and an unfold. So if you want to go up, you just hold the up button. And uh, if you forget these instructions, it is on a sticker on the lift. So pretty easy. And uh, if you want to fold it in, you just hold the fold button. And it folds right in. And if you want to unfold it and bring it down, you hold those buttons. So. Pretty easy to use. Drivers shouldn't get too confused. All right, uh, come around the back. We have a rear emergency exit door. Uh, or sorry, not a door, a window. Hopefully you never have to use it, but good to know it's there. And uh, here's those uh, flashers we were talking about. Uh, we did actually add these on after the fact. So these, uh, these were done here, uh, but they did a great job. And uh, those flashers uh, just go with the, uh, with the hazards there. Uh, the uh, windows on the sides, these are your standard tour style windows. They do have the upper T sliders. If your uh, passengers want a little bit of fresh air, those will uh, kind of slide left and right. Uh, they actually, uh, believe it or not, they don't leak water usually. So uh, they're actually a pretty nice feature and uh, just kind of adds to the AC if they want some fresh air. Uh, Mike's giving you a nice little pan of the undercarriage here. It's a brand new bus, looks great. And uh, one thing, one thing you, uh, you will notice under there, there is a more ride suspension, which uh, there's some big rubber uh, rubber things there that basically just make it a smoother ride that is an upgraded suspension. Thank you, Mike, for pointing that out. Uh, also, you'll see down here, we do have a street side exhaust. And uh, some people don't know why we do this, but uh, basically, if the exhaust was on the other side and you're loading up a wheelchair passenger, they're just gonna be blasted in the face with exhaust and that's that's not really fun so uh, basically we reroute the exhaust to this side so that when people are loading unloading wheelchair passengers the exhaust isn't you know going right in their face so it's a little nicer uh, skirt mounted air conditioning condenser pretty standard pretty much it's either gonna be on the skirt or on the roof just showing you where it's at and uh, right here we do have an aluminum heavy-duty driver side running board which just allows for an extra step and that step is pretty big I wear a 10 and a half shoe and it's fitting all the way on there. So pretty cool. And then uh, right under here to the driver, there is a master switch and that shuts off all of the uh, 
all the battery power so you don't accidentally you know leave a dome light on or anything like that one switch does it all and it'll all cut out Uh, Mike's giving you a nice little pan of the uh, the tire here. There is the uh, stainless steel wheel covers as well. Let's just give it a little more shine. Well, thank you for watching this Northwest Bus Sales exclusive video tour. If you need help with financing, leasing, graphics, even full-on wraps, we can help with all that. Uh, just call one of our sales representatives. You can call us at 1-800-231-7099, visit us at nwbus.com, or email us sales at nwbus.com. Thank you very much for watching.